Waterville is among the flooded communities bracing for more rain. The small town just an hour south of the metro is along the Cannon River. That's where we find our Kirsten Mitchell live this afternoon. How's it looking where you are, Kirsten? Well, Shayla, Waterville surely living up to its name. Just take a look at this road here behind me, completely underwater. A lot of these homes also taking in a lot of water, too. Now, I did speak with a woman. She lives just across the way. She's completely cut off now by water, and the only way she can get around is by kayak. Now, if you're not familiar with Waterville, it is in between two big lakes, and the Cannon River flows right through them. So right now, they're seeing flooding and road closures really all over town. Neighbors are trying to protect their homes with sandbags, but it's hard keeping up. They've even set up a station in town where volunteers are filling bags and giving them to people in need. There's a real sense of camaraderie here, though, as folks try to get through this together. It amazes me that people will come out and help others like this. I mean, I wish I could do all of it and do more. Um, but for such a small little town, they're just such resilient, helpful people. It's really, it's really something to see. And you can see this sump pump working in overtime right now. That's the story really all across town as people try to get ahead and keep that water out, especially in their basements if they're not already flooded. Now, so many people do want to help and they do need more volunteers to help with sandbagging efforts. They're out there this afternoon, this evening, and also tomorrow. They're especially looking for folks who can help carry those bags and help some of the older residents here. But really, the big concern is that more rain is on the way. Shayla. Absolutely. Our Kirsten Mitchell reporting. Thank you so much, Kirsten.